Look, another iBad. I didn't start a video this morning. I don't think I did. I don't know. I spent almost an hour and a half looking for those. Number one isn't here today, so I messaged her, and you know, half hour later, she finally gets back to me. Tells me that, oh, they're in the red bucket. Okay, the red bucket was over half full. That's what was in it. And a whole bunch of other bolts and washers and nuts that I've cleaned up and put back in the bolt bin. Those were in here with all of that. On top of it, in that bucket. Fun. So, it's been fun trying to clean stuff up so it'll go together. Drive line is now in that far. I just got to, I'm going to clean the crap up in that other yoke and then put it together. I'm going to get lunch first. And mom says I need to go up and get a package out of the mailbox. Good old USPS. Apparently we have our regular postal carrier back now. Oh, and by the way, that's what happens when you put brake clean in a solo cup. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to stick. I thought after I had it cleaned out, it wasn't going to do that. So, there's a better spot for it. Throw it out here. Anyway, he's uh, a real jerk, to put it very nicely. Apparently, the package didn't really want to fit in her mailbox, so he made sure it fit. And she spent 10 minutes trying to get the package out. Came down and told me that I get to go get it out. It's the same guy that leaves our packages laying in the mud up at the top of the driveway for the whole world to see. It's been kind of nice because we haven't had him for maybe a month. Actually, our mail in the mailbox. Packages actually showing up. You know, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to go see what it is. See if I can get it out. A package I said was in the mailbox. Apparently, we're listening to whatever Becky's got going on. Oh, sorry. It's Nathaniel Lee. Oh. He's live. So, yeah, you can see where it was squished. We don't want to see his name. Make it a little narrower. Good thing it wasn't anything breakable by the looks of it. Ed and family. Just don't show me. Oh, your hands are there. She's slow. Thank you. Gracie Paws. Look at that. And she isn't going to read it out loud to the rest of us, so we don't get to know. But there's quite a bit there. No, so. you don't get to. I'm not going to read it out. Anyway, so. it, let's see what it, we it looks. It looks like everybody sends his stuff is, is trying to make sure we don't lose any weight. I know we're, we're fat asses here. Jalapeno, Jalapeno chips. chips. Mm. Yum. Oh my God! It's favorite. Almond and roca. Almond roca. That's on. the stuff that doesn't come out of the kitty oh, litter. We should show his. Oh, more. Let's show his stickers because we got there more we go. of them. That's awesome. And. Ooh. Bavarian, Bavarian meats. meats. Nice. Let's see what else we got. Some cherry mountain and some vanilla mountain oh. and peanut butter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Many thanks, Seattle Chocolate. Cool. Thank you so much, Greasy Paws. We appreciate it. Um, our fat butts will definitely eat it. Yeah, it'll it'll disappear eventually. Yeah. Maybe I'll get some. Maybe I won't. You know how that goes. You never know around here. So, anyway, thank you very much, Greasy thank Paws. You, appreciate Greasy it. Paws. One of these days, we'll get stickers made. I just don't know uh, when. We got to do that. People want them, and we don't have them, and we will do that. We should have them, and we don't. So, oh well. There's the mail call for the middle of the day. <laughs> Greasy paws. There it is, with a few others that are there, and figured I'd better show this. It's done. It's in. It's got fluid film on it. That way, what was left bare will keep from rusting as bad. May not rust at all, I don't know. But, let's see. Camera straight with the transmission shaft. So there's my offset there. 
And you can see the offset there. And for some reason, this part is pretty stiff on that one. I don't know why. If that yoke needs to get stretched a little or what. I mean, it's not too stiff to run. If it was you know, running down the highway on a truck, it'd be a little different. Keep it greased, it'll lube in, loosen in a little. It'll do something anyway. So, there it is. And I got to look on that cotton picker. There's four bolts with biscuit mounts. And God knows how many wires and links and cables. And unfortunately, they don't exactly make it easy to get to. So, and I'm calling it an early day. Late enough to feed, so they're fed. And it's not dark yet when I go to the house. And today's been a mix. It's been stormy and been like this. So a little breezy now, but not too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. And you know they say please like and subscribe. Don't hurt. Appreciate everybody. So and we'll see what happens tomorrow.